Good morning, Sunday the 6th of December. I thought I'd do a little uh, video on uh, my Chinese eater and uh, how I run it. Okay, I'll get set up. Back with you in a minute. Okay, well, we have 12 volt battery there that's uh, it's connected to. During uh, springtime, back in the February onwards, <coughs> I will have the uh, battery charged up by the solar panel that I have outside. So, what I do is we'll switch it on. There we are. I'm going to put it straight up to six. And that is its hottest setting. Tipping the H, H means for heat, and we'll let it get going. It'll take probably about five minutes to uh, get itself set up and start producing heat. So I'll bring you back once the uh, the heat's got up. Okay. Okay, I'm about to adjust the camera angle because one of the neighbours came wanted to borrow a screwdriver, so. Um, as you can probably hear now, it's, it's really getting up to full speed. It's not got any warmth on it as yet, but um, we're getting there. You can see that this tells you how far on it's got. That is the temperature, but I don't take the notice of that personally because it's too near the heating element or heating system. Now it's uh, really is gathering speed. You can, you can tell how quiet it is. You can hear that clicking. That's that's the fuel pump. Right, we're starting to get a bit warm now, so I'm going to turn this setting down. That's where I usually run it on on one. And we've now we've now got a little bit of heat coming on. And what I tend to do press these two buttons until I get the little mountain thing at this side and that whatever setting I have it on it uh, reduces it to half. So that, that's just trickle feeding now, and now we've got some proper heat coming on. The fuel pump is at the back there, just ticking over nicely. And uh, when I had it on Friday night, it was constant at 12.2 and the lowest temperature was 3.1 that was before I put the fan on the heater and as you can see with the middle one it's 7.1 in here at the moment so we'll give it uh, 10 minutes and then I'll bring you back and show you what the heat is in here then okay Okay, I'll let you have a look at the setup round the back of it. As you can see, that's a fuel pump, and you can see that I'm using red diesel. And as you can hear now, the, the uh, heater has got working properly. The pump is just clicking. That is, I'm sorry, that is the fuel filter. The pump is uh, the pump is in there. So nice, nice and steady pump working. And we've now got to uh, eat coming out of the tubes. I mean you've no need to have these tubes on if you don't want. I've got one left on there just to project heat across that way. Okay. Okay, after 10 minutes you can see that the temperature in here has now gone up to 9.1. So uh, as it's on all night, as I say, it, it 
goes between 12 and 13 degrees in here constant so quite happy with that so we'll go on to the shutdown phase in one moment when I get set up again okay we've gone on to shut down now and all it is is you press that button and hold it in until the off comes back up and then uh, it takes about five minutes for it to shut down completely to be on the safe side so that you don't mess things up because it is as you imagine uh, computer driven and this is the, this is the, the controller for it it is running very very slow at the moment as you can tell with the little fan there running away but I'm, I'm rather pleased when I, when I bought it I think it was about £95 and then when I bought the battery that was another £65 and basically that's all it, it required uh, I did buy solar panels because I wanted it to be charging itself up but obviously you've got to have some for the solar panels to work and uh, between back end of October and mid February I don't get very, well in fact I don't get any so it will be in full use with the solar panel as well come the end of February, beginning of March and I think that's when it will be used the most when I get the delicate plants in as you can hear the fans working over time now to cool it down fast and it will turn itself off very very soon well worth the money without a doubt I was using uh, diesel from the garage when I first got it and uh, I mentioned it to uh, one of the landladies and she said oh you don't want to be doing that we let you have some and she's been giving me it ever since so it works out she the end of the day and here now it's, it's up to 9.8 the temperature okay we will leave it at that one and I'll spin around and let you see the uh, thermometer in here now ok there you are and up to 9.9 .9 now and it's turned off so if I'd have kept it going another 10 minutes it would have been up to the 12 as I've said on the top one ok that will do for now catch you shortly OK, it's just shut itself off. It did take 10 minutes to uh, to go down, so, but as you can see it's back to the original when I first switched it on. So I'm going to unplug the battery. So I have to uh, make sure that's charged up because the uh, it will be used tonight. It's going to get down to 1, it says, on the weather forecast. Okie dokie. Catch you in a minute. Okay, okay, I purchased this this weekend, £9.99 I think it was, it holds 100 litres of water, so um, as you can see I've got it filled up already, that's the amount of rain that we've had, I uh, took it out of the uh, and took it out of the uh, the green one I have around the other side and as you can see now they're, they're both topped up again and I have filled that plastic tub there so I think I may get uh, another three of those for 30 quid, they're worth it without a doubt okie dokie I've got to show you this we've got a Christmas tree up okay that will do for this one
Bye for now.